Meanwhile, TEPCO continues to reinforce the spent fuel pool at the number four reactor. The walls supporting the pool were heavily damaged from the hydrogen blast on March 15th. The pool contains 1,535 spent fuel rods. The weak structure makes it vulnerable to future earthquakes. On Monday, TEPCO completed one stage of the reinforcement, which began late last month. 32 iron pillars were installed under the pool on the second floor of the reactor building. Each pillar is 8 meters tall and weighs 40 tons. The utility plans to wrap the pillars in concrete by the end of next month. It will then install the same circulatory cooling system used for the spent fuel pool at the number 2 reactor. But at the number 4 reactor, TEPCO found that the explosion had also damaged the water pipes. The pipes are integral parts of the cooling system. The temperature of the pool remains high at around 86 degrees Celsius. Two doors of the Fukushima plant's number two reactor building have been opened because TEPCO wants to lower humidity there. TEPCO said on Monday that the humidity near the building's entrance dropped to 58.7 percent in the morning when the first of the two doors was opened. The ventilation began after the film at the firm filtered radioactive substances from air in the building and the second door was opened in the afternoon. The humidity in the building had been near 100 percent before the doors were opened. This is because of steam believed to be coming from a containment vessel and a spent fuel storage pool. The firm now hopes workers can enter the building to begin calibrating a water level gauge and carry out other tasks. The company says no significant change in radiation levels has been observed outside the plant. Meanwhile, TEPCO says it wants to restart a key water treatment system within a few days. The work to decontaminate highly radioactive wastewater has been suspended since Saturday. It was brought to a halt after the radiation levels of a device meant to absorb radioactive material reached its limit. The suspension happened only five hours after the system went into full operation on Friday afternoon. TEPCO carried out tests using three types of absorption devices on Sunday. Higher than expected radiation levels were detected around the devices. TEPCO engineers suspect the density of radioactive substances in the contaminated water was greater than it predicted. No shit. The utility continues to test the system on Monday. It is trying different combinations of filtering equipment to identify which is best. The government is conducting an experiment by planting rice in the evacuation zone near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. An affiliate research center planted the rice on Monday in Itata village. All the residents have been asked to evacuate and agricultural products are cultivated under restricted conditions. The village is about 40 kilometers northwest of the plant. The soil surface was contaminated and was removed in advance. An average of 2,600 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram of soil was detected in the paddy, 15 centimeters below the surface. But the cesium level was four times higher before the soil was removed. The government will harvest the rice in October and test it for radioactive contamination. The reason society is fucked up as it is, is because it is governed by stupidity. Preparations are underway in Kesennuma City, northern Japan, to reopen a fish market that was damaged by the earthquake and tsunami. Before the disaster, Kesennuma boasted Japan's largest hauls of fresh bonito in coastal waters. Members of a local fisheries cooperative scrubbed the floor and equipment on Monday ahead of the reopening on Thursday. They were joined by 18 volunteers. Work has been continuing since the quake to repair the grounds around the market. A new conveyor belt was installed as the old one was swept away by the tsunami. For the time being, the market will handle only bonito. Once our fish market gets back on its feet, it will help revive the entire city. I think our market is like a light that shows us the way forward. Come to think of it, I'm being pretty fucking stupid right now for wasting my breath talking about this. 
and you are all possibly stupider for having listened to it. With that said, thanks for allowing me to fill your head with more stupidity. Japan's Labor and Health Ministry says another worker at the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant may have been exposed to radiation exceeding the government's safety limit. We love being stupid so much that it sometimes hurts. The ministry said on Monday that the male maintenance worker's exposure level was 335 millisieverts. The government's limit is 250. The plant's operator, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, reported to the ministry earlier in the day the results of radiation checks of more than 1,100 workers at the plant. The checks were conducted after the firm found that the three of its workers had been exposed to radiation beyond the limit. The utility says five more workers could have been exp overexposed. Of approximately 3,600 workers who have undergone checks, nine were at or over the limit. Eight were between 200 and 250 millisieverts, and 107 others were between 100 and 200 millisieverts. The ministry is urging the utility to conduct more checks and report the results for 125 workers who were engaged in operations at the plant in March, but have not undergone radiation screening. The first robot developed in Japan for work at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has arrived there. It was designed by the two Japanese universities to withstand the high radiation in the reactor buildings. It can take samples of radioactive water and move through debris and up and down steep staircases. The robot is expected to do what people can't do. We want to reduce plant workers' radiation exposure as much as possible. Being punished. And how is he being punished? He's in jail. Ha, ha, ha.